if you talk about me, I will talk about you too. Toyo reacts to FFK and his ex-wife's case. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. Sony Wolawani is a household name in the entertainment industry. This lady is famously known for making stunning outfits for some big names in the entertainment industry and she has been doing great with her job for years. She is also a mother of three beautiful children at the age of 39. Wow, wow, wow. So what is bringing her into this issue now? Ha, now, wow. Somebody will say all oh, these uh, celebrities. Well, like every other person, they have issues. And it even makes it difficult for them to manage. Because, hey, forget it too. Forget it. You see this private, private life that me and you are enjoying. We have our issues with settling it without bringing it or washing our data in the public. Like, you don't know what you have until you lose it. Let's find out what happened. Now the news in detail. Sonia Lawana finally reacts to the Femi Fanny Coyote and his ex-wife, Precious Chikwendu, who recently appeared in court that she has not been allowed to see her children for months. This, this post reads, Wow, so his lawyer just casually throws it in that one of my sons has COVID while having an argument in court as reasons why I won't be allowed to assess my kids. And I'm, I'm to keep mute. My last baby has physical injuries on his head and I am to stay calm. Mbanu, till you return my kids, I will file all the necessary evidences available. According to her well-explained charges, she did not get intimate with FFK for six years when she was with her. And not giving her access to her children is something she cannot keep as a secret. Tony Laoni took to her social media accounts on Instagram to call people's attention to when FFK reacted to one of her outfits, which was called sacrilegious outfit a few months ago. She added that if FFK can talk about a dress, she also have every right to say in what her ex-wife has said about him. Okay, Tony, Tony's post read. Look at this man. You're round about me, but cannot settle your home. Busy torturing a mother, taking her four kids away from her, not allowing her to see them for over a year. Arresting the mother of your kids, pushing her to run around to one cut or the other. Heard you bully. That is why everyone is not speaking up for her. It is extremely sad everyone chooses to use their voice and platform for some kids and not some cause of who and who is involved. See, mister, I sat down my own. You spoke about me. If you talk about me, I will talk about you. You know, try. Even if it's under supervision, let a mother see her kids. I do not care what transpired between you people. Drop that ego. Drop that shoulder of yours and do the right thing. God knows I do not know at Snow Whitey and I have not and never met her. But I have been crying for her. If someone stops me from seeing my kids, I might hurt myself. When I could not see my first child for five years while, I was in, while she was in America, I was quite depressed. Everyone did not know my pains, but it was not a good one. I missed out on so many important moments like her first period, ETC, not to talk of the tender age those, kids, those four kids are right now. They need their mother. Let us all stand up and speak up for this lady. Nothing wrong in doing so and people are calling out bullies. I am wondering why your name is not number one on that list. If you are a mother and you know the pain of having kids, please tag every mother on this post to speak up for this lady. Tony Lawana said that, added that she's also a mother and she understands how it feels when you do not have free access to your children, which is the same problem, which is the same problem Precious Chikwendu is facing currently. She also had similar situation a few years ago, when she did not get a chance to see one of her children for five years, when she was away studying in the United States. Tony Lawani added that she is not going to keep silence about the issue FFK had with this woman because it is it a torture to a mother who has been banned from seeing her own child and has urged FFK to do better by putting his family in the right direction. 
all that Tony Dawani wants, as she shared this on social media, is for the lady to finally gain free access to her children, or they should even be released to her mother to avoid further charges on Femi Fane Coyote. Well, 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 let me say this. Everybody's entitled to the opinion. Uh, well, if you're a mother, you can relate to this. Sincerely. Sincerely, um, Tony Lawani, she, she acted very, um, well, I say there's a truth in what she said. Yes, there's a truth to what she said. She said her own is give this woman access to her, her children. And uh, even if it is going to be under supervision, or if, if for reasons known to you, or, you know, for reasons, you know, you can even release these children to them. I mean, your relationship, what, I said something previously earlier on, and what I said in, in some other news was um, that, you know, this thing called marriage, you don't bring, if you have issues, don't bring your children issue, into the issues. No, no, no. I said it before, and I'm going to say it again. If you have issues in your marriage, in your marriage, please do not bring your children into it. It is going to be, see, you don't know the trauma you are giving to those children, no. You do not know it. You do not see it. Especially when you say, oh, you stop this person from seeing it or you stop this person. Like, no, now, Don't do that. This, these children, they did not offend you by coming through you. Eh? Their offense should not be, be that they came through you. And so for, for, for reasons best known, you deny them of motherly love or fatherly love. I'm speaking in general terms now. For those who now have marriage issue and think bringing children to it or using the children as um. A, a, a point of attack or a place of attack is, is wise. It is unwise. It is very unwise. So why I believe um, FFK and his wife, they can settle amicably, you know, at least if they say they cannot come back and be together, that you no, know, they cannot. Fine, no problem. But they should be, they should reach an agreement where, you know, they both get to see their children and their children are healthy. This is, this phase of these children are because these children are still very little, this phase of their life is very important. You have, they have like it can you cannot trade it. <laughs> you don't want to trade this period of a, ch a child's life, and you know the mother or the father is absent. No, no, or you are depriving them of any love they can get. So, um, I feel you know the court should allow this person, allow this um, lady, see her children, give them attention. We don't know if they are, what they're saying is true, and sincerely. I even do not want to know. But the truth thing is, what is right, I mean, what is right is right. Do not bring children into a relationship or make them a point of attack or a point of punishing the other person.